In this video, I'm going to be breaking down my new bunch tight end defense, something to help you stop the bunch tight end in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what the channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways that we do that is through tips and strategies just like this one. So if you haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free to do so. And by subscribing, it basically just means that you want to be a part of the channel. You want to be a member. You want to know what's happening. And if you want to know whenever we release a new ebook, or I'm sorry, a new video each day, um, go ahead and turn on the notifications the way you do that is by clicking that little bell icon that way YouTube will just let you know whenever we release a new video okay guys so I want to talk specifically today about Mike Blitz 3 against the PA uh, or I'm sorry the bunch tight end so um, you're gonna see here that my flats are on 25 my crow flats are on 10 and my hooks are on 5 and we're going to be audibly into this from the nickel 335 so we're going to audible down right into it just like that right there and i want to share with you a couple of adjustments so my first thing that i like to do against this defense or this offense is i like to shift my defensive line to the running back side so i'm going to shift them to the right side and i'm going to bring my user with me as well from that point there i'm going to crash my defensive line out and then I'm going to shade coverage down and shade coverage over top. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because it's going to turn those outside guys into cloud flats, uh, which I believe are the best zone for defending crossing routes. Then lastly, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be go ahead and I'm going to put two seam flats on the field. But there is a little bit of a difference as far as how I like to do this. I'm going to show you the first setup and then I'll show you another one as well. Um, but what you'll see is... And then I'm going to put a three rec. So I'm going to bluff blitz my defensive lineman on the side of the tight end, just like this. And I'm going to use her in the middle of the field. Now, what you're going to notice here from PA boot over is their whole agenda is definitely to roll out. And as you'll see right here, they can still hit this route to Devonte Adams on that right side of the field uh, with that. Now, again, I will tell you that if they are on the opposite hash, um, this is definitely going to work a little bit differently. So uh, typically what I would recommend is I would recommend running the bunch to the wide side of the field. That's just my personal advice uh, to anyone running bunch tight end. If you want to get my full ebook on bunch tight end, it's available in the description. Um, that's been my favorite offense for a while now. But anyways, I do want to show you this. So again, we're going to just kind of set it up just like this. And I just want you to watch what happens here. So this is no user at all. But just watch that triangle receiver. You see that the triangle receiver gets open on the sideline, and that's kind of the number one problem, um, the number one problem with this. So how do you stop this? Uh, how do you stop this from Mike Blitz 3? Well, in my opinion, it's going to take one, one little nuance to your adjustment that is going to help you a ton. All you're going to do is you're going to shade your coverage up, or you're going to, I apologize, you're going to leave your coverage um, you don't, you don't have to shade it up or not. It's not going to matter. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put both of my outside linebackers into seam flats, just like this right here. And then I'm going to put my safety on a hook curl and my uh, corner on the right here, he is going to be on a cloud flat. And what you're going to see happen here is this is going to give us a little bit better coverage specifically on the delay fade. So when they roll out and they try to throw this delay fade, you're going to see that they're going to be throwing the ball right into that hook curl, just like that right there. Now, um, the biggest thing that I would tell you is whenever I am, whenever I am facing this specific offense, Okay, and it, it's 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 I guess there's a couple of offenses that are like this, but whenever I'm facing this, I'm gonna move those flat zones to 30 yards. So I'm gonna back them off to 30 yards. The reason why is because they're gonna do a much much better job uh, against the crossing route. So you'll see here, um, you know, same exact coverage. It's just we backed them off five more yards, and I just want you to kind of watch what happens. And this is this is kind of the base play here. But anyway, if we double team here, we motion out, and you'll see here we get out of the pocket. Now, I want you to watch that triangle receiver. He's running right into that cloud flat. So you see that the 30-yard cloud flat will sit right where we need him to. Now, if we go back to that cover two technique, where we just simply put, um, you know, we just simply put a flat on the left and a flat on the right, and then we're going to throw a vertical hook and a three rec. Right? You could do that. This is this is now 
Now you've got several people there to stop the tight end. You see how that vertical hook will stop that drag. If they roll out, you see that, oh, they're gonna throw right into that. Now again, that guy did glitch him out, but normally that's, he's throwing right in, I mean, the yellow zone is sitting right there. You know what I mean? So by using that, that gets you a plus one advantage that you can now have. So then you can basically do, you know, really a lot of different options here, but you now have a plus one advantage. So now when they roll out, and the reason I like the vert hook and even the hook curl, they take away that quick read. And then you'll see here, you know, obviously if they have time, they can hit that fade, but your job would then be to come back down onto the fade and, and simply take that away yourself. But the biggest thing I wanted to let you know about is that these 30 yard zones uh, will take care of that PA boot overplay. So basically what's gonna happen is all you have to do at, at, at eventually here, you'll see I'm gonna come down with my user and I just have to basically take care of this tight end. That's the only route that I really have to cover. And as you can see, we take that away and we're gonna be able to go. So that's just one play from Bunch Tight End though. I wanna share with you another play from Bunch Tight End, uh, which is the curl flat corner. And this is an example of a play that they would want to run um, to the wide side of the field. So you'll see here that if I run curl flat corner, I just want to run it with a five man uh, pressure here just so I can show you the route and what it can do. Um, you're going to see that this is kind of the, this to me is kind of the way that people run this. This is the way I would recommend running it. Um, and what you'll see is this triangle receiver should get wide open here on the sideline as you see right there now if you notice that's the reason why cover three is good again because that corner comes back down when he's supposed to when he has the safety help he does come back down like he's supposed to so uh, what you're going to be able to do just to simply take this away shade coverage down shade coverage up it's the same exact covers there's really nothing different here the only difference is now look where they're trying to target they're trying to target the left sideline so once again we're just kind of going to set up our uh, our adjustments here but if you take a look at that triangle receiver he should get covered all the way up and as you can see there that flat does make a play right there i got mossed but the flat is in the area that he needs to be in uh, to be able to make a pretty good play on that ball so the reason i'm saying that is because now what you've been able to do with this cover three um, which you weren't able to do before with those 30 yard cloud flats um you you now have some really good zones and they're just going to drift and drift and drift and drift into the area too they're going to play stuff early but i mean you see right here now right there that's a little bit more of what used to happen and uh like i said the the patch has not yet gotten its way all the way through i think uh with every coverage but eventually that cover three that that uh cover three zone on the outside there that outside third he will break down um it's just it's just it, it's more it's definitely going to work in game in practice mode it's still a little finicky with how how often it works but you'll see here that's more of what you're looking for and again um you know you have a guy in there he can't get over the top of that for a big game so now what you're left with is you're left with working the middle of the field um which is the whole purpose of mabel coverage is to force people to work the middle of the field i mean you're devoting you know f six resources uh to the outside so now you're going to get them in a situation you know where they have to run something like you know like this right here where again you know you've got your middle guy so you're just taking here to here and uh and working over the middle of the field is i think that's what we're going to be moving back into uh slowly but surely within this defense so anyways i just wanted to share that with you that's a little bit about mabel coverage and where it's at right now it's definitely better than it was um and there's i think it's still continuing to get better but as you can see this does do a good job against a lot of things that bunch time wants to do um, especially because now you can't just force feed corner routes all game so this cover three is pretty solid i'd encourage you to try out this cover three defense in your own game let me know what you think of it you're going to see that those outside thirds will start jumping on random stuff uh, i think you're going to find a lot of success with it so thanks for watching this video and again if you want to get the full defensive ebook where i break down cover three cover two cover four man coverage cover zero why and when and how to run those against the best offenses in madden go ahead and grab that full ebook that's in the description we also show pressure setups as well um, show you how to get pressure out of this defense this defense is super adaptive adaptable, super flexible, and moldable to whatever you need it to be. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys uh, on stream tonight at 10 o'clock. If you have any questions, text me. My number is 208-218-6900.